All right, so the French Open draw has just come out. I'm going to go through the ladies' draw first because there are some wild early matches in this tournament and some big potential clashes in the fourth round and beyond. Let's go have a look at the players that have withdrawn, though, because a lot of names have also pulled out. Okay, we've got Mukova pulling out. Of course, last year's finalist. She is not going to be playing in this event. We have Wickmeyer also pulled out. Kvitova has also withdrawn. Uh, Grabber also out of this tournament. Benchich, of course, also out. Rodokanu, she pulled out of the qualifier draw, which meant that she will not be in the main draw. And Pagula, the biggest name and the biggest seed, number five seed if she had played has pulled out as well due to injury so really really uh, big names there especially Mukova and Pagula not playing in this one all right so we've got 32 seeds in this one and of course at a slam nobody gets a buy in the first round Igor Sviantek she'll take on a qualifier in the first round winner of that match will take on either Bronzetti or Osaka in the second round that is a tough start for Sviantek uh, then you've got Bozaz Monero taking on a qualifier winner of that will take on either Buzkova or the number 29 seed Kudamatova in the second round then you've got number 24 seed Krajikova taking on Golovich. Winner of that will take on either Potapova or Rakamova in the second round. Then you got Wong taking on Townsend. Winner of that will take on either Tomova or the number 16 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. Very interesting section. Three seeds there that have beaten Sviantek. So that could be really, uh, really interesting to see Sviantek take on those seeds. But of course, Osaka being the second round could be really, really dangerous. But of course, you've got to watch out for Sviantek in this section. You've got to watch out for Alexandrova and also Krajikova. She, of course, won this tournament a few years back. Also, I'd be watching out for Osaka. Has been pretty good on the clay considering that she is not a clay quarter so very very interesting matchups there and fiance has got some hurdles in this section next part of the draw you've got collins number 11 seed she'll take on dollar high in the first round winner of that will take on either a qualifier or trevison in the second round then you've got vekic taking on sharenko winner of that will take on either another qualifier the number 18 seed kostruk in the second round then you've got sinia Kova, the 32nd seed taking on the quality winner of that will take on either Paquet or schneider in the second round then you've got a qualifier taking on krunich winner of that will take on massa rover or the number five seed Von Drusova in the second round. Again, a very awkward section. Played well on clay this year. Players that have played uh, well in general this year. Uh, of course, Collins. you got to watch out for her. She is probably the most dangerous player in this section. But also, Vondi has made a French Open final in the past. And also, watch out for Kostru because she, of course, did win... Uh, played well in Stuttgart, made the final there not too long ago. Uh, so they're the, probably the big ones that I'll be watching out for in this section. All right, next section of the draw, we've got the number three seed, Goff. She'll take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Van Udvank or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Wong taking on Tim Afeeble. Winner of that will take on the, either Tomanovic or the number 30 seed, Yastremska, in the second round. Then you've got the number 17 seed, Samson Over taking on Lynette. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Anissa Mover in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Buksha. Winner of that will take on either Cochioretto or Hadaj Maya, the 13th seed in the second round. Interesting section for Goff. A lot of qualies, a lot of qualies, but uh, you, you would think that Goff manages, I mean, she might be able to manage through this section. You gotta watch out for Goff. Uh, you gotta watch out for Hadaj Maya, of course, made the semifinals here last year. And of course, uh, Yastremska did do well at the Australian Open this year, so you gotta watch out for her as well. I've been looking out though for Lynette, because Lynette does do well, or has done well on the clay uh, in the past, made a final on clay this year as well. So I'd be watching out for her as one of maybe those dangerous unseeded players in this section. Then the next section of the draw, we've got the number nine seed, Ostapenko. She takes on Christian in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Maria or Towson in the second round. Then you've got Sigamund taking on Cannon. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number 21 seed, Garcia, in the second round. Then you've got the 31st seed, Fernandez, taking on Ponche. Winner of that will take on either Wong or Bai in the second round. Then you've got Kalanina versus Osorio. Winner of that will take on either Vickery or the number eight seed, Jabur, in the second round. This section is also interesting because there's four seeds there that can definitely play on clay. They've all proven that. They can win on clay as well. And there are also some really dangerous unseeded players. Of course, Jabur, you got to watch out for her. you got to watch out for Penko as well. They did play recently, and it was a pretty fun match. If they do meet in the fourth round, you got to watch out for Fernandez. She can play on clay. And also Garcia, being the hometown favorite, uh, will also be very dangerous. But I would also be watching out for Kennan in this section as well as an unseeded dangerous player. Did make the final of the French Open back in 2020. Lost to Sviantec. Remember, this section will also take on the Sviantec section when it comes to the semifinals. So we could have some matches between, again, Goff versus Sviantec or Sviantec versus Goff. We could be getting a match between Sviantec and Ostapenko. I know a lot of us want to see that on uh, on a slower court in a semi-final. Maybe you want to go with Sviantec versus Jabur, which is a little bit different. Or if you think that it's going to be Goff in the semis and not Sviantec, maybe you want to go with Goff versus Collins. Could be a matchup in the semis. Or maybe Goff taking on Von Drusova. If you want to go with something a little different, but stay with the top 10. But man, that is a very top-heavy draw. All right, bottom half of the draw we've got. The number 7 seed Jung. She 
she'll take on Cornet in the first round, which is her final French Open. It's going to be crazy to see how the crowd react to that. Winner of that will take on either Kruger or Corpatch in the second round. Then you've got Zhu taking on Avanesian. Winner of that will take on either Blinkova, the number 28 seed Castillo in the second round. Then you've got the number 23 seed Callan Sky will take on Boral. Winner of that will take on either Andrescu or Tormo in the second round. Then you've got Dodden taking on Day. Winner of that will take on either Saville or the number 12 seed Paulini in the second round. And again, this section is really, really awkward. You've got to watch out for Zhang. You've got to watch out for Paulini. You've got to watch out for Callan Sky as well. Definitely wouldn't be overlooking her in this section if she stays healthy. Very dangerous on all surfaces. Um, but I would also be looking out for Tormo. Very capable on the clay and loves to play long matches too, which could outlast a lot of these players in this section. Next section of the draw, you've got number 15 seed Svetlina. She'll take on Pliskova in the first round. That might be one of the best first rounds going around. That is a wild first round. A winner of that will take on either Ferro or Parry in the second round. Then you've got Giacomo taking on Bogdan. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier the number 20 seed Pavlyuchenkova in the second round. Then you've got the 25th seed Mertens. She'll take on Kale in the first round. That's a very tough first round. The winner of that will take on either Martic or Mladenovic in the second round. Then you got Rus taking on Kerber. Winner of that will take on either Minin or the number four seed Rabakina in the second round. And this might be the first time that it feels like a seed, like a top seed has a, has a decent draw. Of course, there are dangerous unseeded players, but it feels like Rabakina, if she's healthy, should, should get through this. Uh, of course, you've got to watch out for Rabakina. Been very, very good on the clay this year. You've got to watch out for Svetlina. Can, if she can get through Pliskova, can do well on the clay. Uh, but I'd also be looking out for Kerber, you know, played very well against Fiontek in Rome a couple of weeks ago. So those are the big ones that I'd be watching out for. And maybe chucking Pavlyuchenkova as well, considering she did make a French Open final a few years back. And the bottom part of the draw, we've got Sakri taking on Kucheva first round. Number six seed, of course, Sakri. Winner of that will take on either Pera or Bino in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Pagu. Winner of that will take on either Dart or the number 27 seed, Noskova, in the second round. Then you've got number 19 seed, Azarenka, taking on Podoroska. Winner of that will take on either Mira Andreva or Bektis in the second round. Then you've got another Qualifier taking on Stearns. Winner of that would take on either Frey or the number 10 seed Kazakina in the second round. And now we're back to that kind of awkward, no one really has an easy draw because everybody can do well sort of position in the draw here. Of course, Zachary, got to be watching out for her. Has made a semi-final of the French Open before, but has been terrible at Grand Slams lately. I got to watch out for Dasha. Kazakina did do well at the French Open a couple years ago, made the semis here. You also got to watch out for Azarenka, you know, Grand Slam champion. Maybe not on clay, but, you know, she still has that champion quality. And I'd also be watching out for Andreva. You know, Cable on clay so let's see whether or not she uh, can as an unseated player work her way through the draw bottom part of the draw you've got number 14 seed key she'll take on zara zua in the first round winner of that will take on either yuan or sharif in the second round then you've got a qualifier taking on schmidlova winner of that will take on either another qualifier the number 22nd seed navarro in the second round then you've got bolter the 26th seed taking on bedosa first round that's a really fun one winner of that will take on either put and sever or stevens in the second round so some really really good players in that section then you've got two qualifiers going going at it. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on either Erika Andreva or the number two seed Sabalenka in the second round. Sabalenka's draw is, is weird. Like, it's, it looks easy at the start, but once she gets to that third round, that's where it gets really tricky. But you've obviously got to watch out for Sabalenka in this section. You've got to watch out for Madison Keys. Played really well over the last couple of tournaments. Only lost to Sviantec on clay in the last two events. Uh, you've got to watch out for Navarro. She's been pretty dangerous all year. Uh, with the unseated players, you've got to watch out for Bedosa. You've got to watch out for Putin Seva, and you've probably got to watch out for Stevens as well. So that's where it gets really Really awkward for Sabalenka and of course this section will take on in the semi-finals will take on the Rabakina section so we could be getting Sabalenka Rabakina of course that would be the big clash that we've seen a few times over the last couple of months also you could be getting Sabalenka if you don't think Rabakina's gonna get there Sabalenka versus Zhang which is a rematch of the Australian Open final uh, you could get Sabalenka versus Kalen Sky if you want to go something a little bit out of the box or if you don't think Sabalenka's gonna make it and Rabakina does maybe you want to go with Rabakina taking on Zachary you know that could be an interesting matchup on clay in a semi-final maybe you want to go with Rabakina Kazakina. Maybe Rabakina versus an unseated player like Bedosa in the semifinals. But man, it's going to be an absolute wild French Open, especially early for that top half of the draw. But let me know who's going to win the French Open for the ladies. I mean, Sviantec's the obvious pick, but her draw is not as easy as some of the other players. I feel like Rabakina's draw, but she's very capable of beating everyone in that draw to make it into the at least the quarterfinals, maybe the semis. Sabalenka's draw, I mean... It's a little awkward, but the way she's been playing, she should win. Goff's, I mean, does Goff get through it? I mean, I don't feel like anyone's got the worst draw, but I don't think anyone's got the easiest draw. There it is. French Open draw for the ladies. And it's going to be fire on, starting on Sunday, by the way.